you should get to a point in your life where you stop making excuses where you, where you you are just like enough with, like enough with the excuses i can't continue making the excuses i need to get the results that i really want to get hello guys welcome back to another episode on my channel um, for those persons who have been with me from the very beginning, thank you very much. And for persons who are getting to know about my channel for the first time, thank, you're very welcome to my channel. So yeah, I'm going to be talking about how to turn your weaknesses, your pain points into selling points. Um, as human beings, all of us have our flaws, we have our imperfections, we have our weaknesses. And while some persons allow their flaws, their shortcomings, their weaknesses to become their undoing, to become their destruction, other persons try to rise above these things and make beautiful stories of their stories. So you don't always have to have the like perfect circumstances in life, but you can make something out of life. You know, one thing I'm really um, trying to understand, uh, like because most of the videos I've been seeing, because I also go out and go online, check videos, and most people talk about the fact that time flies very fast. That's the first thing, and most people regret not doing things than regret um, doing things. I don't know how would I, how would I put the English. It's the things that you never attempted that hurt you the most compared to the things that you attempted. So whatever it is that is that desire that you have to do that you're not doing because of a certain weakness or challenge you have to push that weakness or challenge aside anyway i want you to apply wisdom and discretion as regards this advice but let me give an example there's someone who is interested in content creation someone who is interested in content and this person has an iphone 7 plus or this person has samsung phone and this person is always crying um, i can't start my content creation because i don't have a podcast microphone i can't start my content creation because i don't have a very good camera i can't start my content creation because this i can't start my content creation because of that but the point is like are you really sure that content creation is like what you really want to do or someone is like oh i want to become a very good caterer i want to become a very good cook but i cannot start because i don't have money to go to a catering school but yet you have like the data, you have the sub to go online, to go on YouTube and learn new recipes and practice new recipes. I'm not here to like maybe judge or disturb anybody. I'm just saying that the things that really matter to us, we actually find the time to do them. Like I think this is the second half of the year and every person has their priorities. Um, I know some persons work like um, they have like jobs that require them to stay there from morning to evening other persons have school activities that require them to stay from morning to evening you have to read and other things but you also have to consider fulfillment okay you also you also have to consider time like time is really important ask yourself will i regret this thing in the next few years will i regret not doing this thing in the next few years what are the consequences of the things i'm doing and the consequences of the things i'm not doing what are the rewards of the things i'm doing and the rewards of the things i'm not doing actually so this is just kind of a, a, a reminder video i don't know if you remember that quote is it a quote or that saying that um, when life throws you lemons make lemonade out of it it's actually very true because most times life does not give you exactly what you want but the thing is that I keep, I keep bringing up like Christianity like if you are like a child of God every situation or circumstance in your life actually adds up to something more beautiful to something very amazing you don't need to know exactly how everything is going to like fit the puzzle you just have to keep playing along and doing the parts that you should be doing it's so important that you do the parts that you should be doing because God cannot really do everything like like sometimes when we ask God, like, okay, God bless me, he'll be like, bless you with words or bless you in words. And um, other people say that um, there's this common complaint, like, oh, I'm not doing my passion, it's because I'm not doing my passion, that's why I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. But I think the Bible says that whatever it is that your hand finds to do, I think you should do it well, something like that. That means whatever it is, like once you find yourself in a situation, make the most out of that situation. Okay, so this is my saying. The, if I were to summarize this video, it would be like, you, you cannot do everything with your own power. Definitely, I always I keep saying that you should put God first. Like, God is the one that arranges everything. 
the Bible says that you should commit your plans to God, but if there are no plans, um, and you say like, I think it's like commit your plans to God and you will establish your steps or I don't know. But if there are no plans that you are committing to Him, what exactly is He establishing? That that's the question. So, this is this is just a very, a very real video that whatever excuse it is that you are making, there's always something else that you can be doing. Like I said, you want to learn catering, and maybe the catering school you want to apply for, it's in Lagos, and the money is like 300k, 500k, 1 million, you're like, okay, I cannot afford it. Okay, you cannot afford it, so you just give up. What about like YouTube videos, tutorials, meeting local restaurants in your place? Like, there's all, I, for me, I personally believe that like, there's always a way, like, if you are really serious about what you are saying. You want to start content creation, you are looking for the best gadgets, you are looking for everything to be standard, but you actually have something that you can work with. Like Moses in the Bible was a stammerer and he was like, God, I can't go to your people because I'm a stammerer, I can't talk and kini kini can and did if you see the like the underlying story in the Bible, it's actually the fact that God does not really care so much about like your weaknesses, your flaws, your imperfections. He just cares about your obedience. So this video is a reminder that if God has actually asked you to do something, but there's something that you should be doing. All the excuses you are piling up, I don't think it really concerns God that much. You just find a way, like, find a way to obey the instruction that you have been given. Anyhow, I love you and thank you so much for tuning in. See you in the next video.